I'm Keisha. And I'm Carla. And this is Tech Jam. In our school visits, we've been noticing one student population in particular, and our dedicated educators' efforts to build bridges using technology for this population, and that is our ESL and ELL students. All over our district, we are seeing innovative and impressive uses of technology from teachers seeking to support this unique population. While many of our ESL and ELL students are enrolled in specific classes designed to meet their needs, many of our core content teachers are asking how can they leverage technology to further support these students. So today, we're partnering with the ESL department to bring you some tech tools and strategies to do just that. We've invited Maricel Salvachon from the ESL department to tell us about this unique population and their needs. Hi, my name is Maricel Salvachon and I am the ESL coordinator of Title I Federal Programs. Today, we are partnering with the technology team to bring you some tech tools and strategies to do just that. We know that many ESL and EOL students are placed in classes with specialized curricula for part of their school day. However, what happens when they go back into their core content classes? And that's the question that we had as we visited your classrooms and you guys had excellent answers for that. So. Let's get techy with it! Did you know that Google Docs has a built-in translator? If you go to the Tools menu and select Translator and the language that you need it translated into, it will create a new document in the language you selected. And in this way, you can easily translate parent letters, resources, and assignments for your students. Have you been looking for nonfiction articles that can be translated into Spanish? Check out News ELA. News ELA's content is updated daily with stories from a wide range of sources from the Associated Press to Scientific American in both English and Spanish. Check out the library to find the articles in Spanish. Best of all, News ELA features Google Sign-In and Google Classroom integration. If you're looking for a more comprehensive translator, then visit the Chrome Web Store and look for Google Translator. It can be added as an extension to any Chrome browser and follow your student wherever they visit online, whether it's Encyclopedia Britannica or Google Classroom. All they have to do is, with a click of the button, select the extension, select the language, and it'll translate anything they need translated. Here's a super idea to turn your student's love of comics into a great way to learn. It's called Make Beliefs Comics. There are lesson plans, activities, and more. Make Beliefs Comics is a free website and iPad app that helps students create comics that build writing skills. This site offers a wealth of resources for teachers and parents to support creativity and communication. There's a whole section of the website devoted to lesson plans and activities supporting ESL students. If you're looking for some ways to support literacy and fluency for your ESL and ELL students, then looking through some text helps resources and extensions is a great place to start. This is an extension called Read and Write that's offered by Text Help for Google Chrome. It will do many things, one of which is provide all sorts of annotation tools, a translator, a dictionary, word prediction, and even offer speech to text translation for students. There are a lot of tools that many of you are already using that actually have ESL and ELL supports built in. For example, Remind 101 will translate your messages into over 70 different languages. In addition, Accelerated Reader offers all of their communications and logs available in Spanish and other languages as well. And even the copier in your teacher workroom may have the ability to translate your documents as they're copying. How cool is that? A research-based instructional strategy that helps support ESL and ELL students is to provide them visuals and interactivity. That means that products like Nearpod, Classflow, and Pear Deck, which all transform a sit and get presentation into a truly immersive and visual and interactive presentation are all perfect for this special population. That certainly was a valuable list of tools that educators all across our district can use to support ESL and EOL students. And if you heard of a tool that you're interested in, definitely check out our catalog or go sign me up and sign up for a few professional developments that we're offering this spring to learn more. First 
of all, we'd like to introduce our newest team member, Ms. Haney. We now have two instructional technology facilitators supporting our schools. Would you care to share with us your favorite EdTech tool? Sure. My favorite tool to use is Seesaw. Seesaw is a digital learning portfolio that is iPad and Chromebook friendly. It is an amazing tool to use to build those speaking and listening skills, as well as provide a platform for a collaborative discussion. Students can attach a link, a document, take a photo, or even record themselves showcasing their thinking. Seesaw also allows parents to enroll so that they can have a front row seat to their students' learning. In addition to adding to our support team, we're offering a variety of professional development opportunities this semester. A lot of you have been asking how you can make progress in your learning pathways, and we've provided an answer. We've published an entire spring catalog of courses we're offering to help support the learning pathways. In addition to adding to our support team, we have a variety of professional development opportunities this semester. A lot of our educators have been asking, how can I make progress on my learning pathways? And we have answered with an entire catalog of courses that we're offering through the spring semester. That catalog can be accessed through the EBRPD GPS newsletter that's published bi-weekly by Ms. Robin Wax, so check your email for that. It's organized by learning pathway so that you can see which courses actually apply to you. And if you visit Go Sign Me Up, we're working hard to get our courses aligned by learning pathways so that you can search by which pathway applies to you and find courses that helps you to progress forward. We definitely have something for everyone from teachers to school administrators to school secretaries, so don't miss out. Go to go sign me up today and register for a few courses. Now it's time for You've, You've Got, got questions, questions, We've Got, got answers. answers. So Carla, what is Digital Learning Day? Well, Digital Learning Day is a massive national celebration of all things digital, especially those strategies and practices that help to use modern tools to strengthen a student's learning experience. If you'd like to learn more about Digital Learning Day, go to their website at digitallearningday.net. And by the way, Digital Learning Day is Thursday, February 22nd, 2018. So until next time, keep tech jamming.